Welcome you all to the course on critical thinking constructed by Jadupur University under the project Equal. A critical thinker is one who can think for herself and who can think through everything that she encounters clearly and rationally. It is the ability that enables us to reflect properly upon what we do, what we think, what to believe and how to do all these things. It includes the ability to engage in what may be called independent thinking, thinking that is independent from external bias. Someone with critical thinking skill is able to do the following things. Understand the logical connections between the ideas with which one thinks. We have divided this course into five modules. Some of these modules run into more than one parts. The first module is on what is critical thinking. In this module, we discuss who is a critical thinker, the standards of critical thinking, benefits of critical thinking and also the hindrances of critical thinking. Module 2 is on language and critical thinking. It discusses the ways in which we may find the right words to use in the right situation. It also discusses the need for precision and it tells us how we may avoid vagueness over generality, ambiguity, opacity. It tells us why it is important to be precise and why it is important to find precise definitions of concepts. It talks about the emotive language and the strength of it and it also tells us how we may use language to twist truths. It talks about euphemisms and political correctness. The third module and the fourth module relates critical thinking to its close ally logic. Module 3 is on formal logic and critical thinking. It discusses what is an argument, what is a deductive argument, what is an inductive argument? What is the relation between the truth content and the logical content of a sentence? It discusses the notion of validity, the relation between deduction and validity. The fourth module is on informal logic and critical thinking. It discusses the linguistic phenomena that are relevant to critical thinking especially when it is concerned with informal logic. It tells us how to evaluate informal arguments. It discusses the fallacies of informal argument. It emphasizes upon two concepts. One is relevance and the other is sufficiency. Module 5 is on information and evaluation. It discusses how we may evaluate the information that we get from knowledge institutions as well as media.